So we're cuffing the hamstring. Uh, the techniques, again, remain pretty similar across all the body parts. Uh, it's just the size of your person. So I'm using a smaller cup because Sonia is a little more petite, um, but we can work through each spot on the hamstring if we feel like there's multiple restrictions or multiple painful areas. So from the, we apply and we can go north-south, east-west, circles, this kind of clock pattern to start with the more uh, basic activity. I've got a few cups with me today because it is a bigger area. So if I apply these, running at a real state here, that's why I've got a few cups, and I have Sonia bend her knee, and then straighten it, and then she bends her knee, and then straightens it out all the way. That's another type of cupping with a different kind of movement. And then if we return to the idea of applying a little gel to have a frictionless surface or improved glide, and again, just apply the cup and we work along the hamstring. So I talked about the crispy crunchies in her hand video, and she's got quite a few along the inner hamstring, right at the bottom here. So I don't want to work on those too much because they can get a little aggravated, but over time we would hope that continued treatment, including exercise, would help to improve it. So she's got quite a good one there. So what I'll have her do is I'll have her bend her knee and straighten her leg while I move the cup. And that is very crunchy right at the bottom there. And she's groaning a little bit. It's always been like that. So but maybe I can fix it now. Mm -hmm. So she's getting a little red in some spots. And that's about where I would give her leg a break. Let the redness pass over. Or I'd have her reassess. Just have her bend and straighten her knee again. Does that feel freer compared to when we first started? It does. Does it feel similar? You know, so we can kind of guide our next steps. So you can hear her in the background saying that it does feel better. Um, and we'd have her exercise, we'd treat, and then we'd follow up with the next visit to see how overall she felt.